Well, while there's many brands of balers, we're gonna compare two of them. The John Deere L340 to the Crone Big Pack 12 Naughty HDP. This is a 2012 Crone Big Pack 12 Naughty XC, which is the chopping feature, HDP, which is a high density press option. They do sell us a standard 1290, which is a smaller scaled down version. Uh, mainly it's just in the chamber, it's not gonna pack as tight a bale. High density press means it's pressing the bale tighter. In 2013, Crone re redesigned their balers. They changed the VFS system, they changed some of the shielding, and they changed multiple other things throughout the baler and called it the high speed, which it runs at 45 strokes per minute, which would be the same as the John Deere baler. The high-speed crone is an improved uh, design of the original 1290, like this one. And this is an L340 John Deere, 2015. These were made in 14 through uh, 16 or 17, I think 17. L340 model, which was now replaced by the L341. The L341 does not have as many updates over the L340 as say the Crone did in their updated series. However, the L341 does have a wider pickup and several more features that you can get. The Crone pickup, the John Deere pickup. Which one's the better pickup? Both of the headers are similar in the fact that the design allows the header to rest on a fixed platform with the gauge wheels only acting as countermeasures if you encroach a ditch, a gopher mound, ant hills, whatever it is. On the chrome, this is your lift cylinder up here, and it's a spring to help assist in lifting. And down here you have this piece of metal, and then you have this slide. This slide is what stops this piece of metal from coming down any farther. Then you adjust your gauge wheels so they just barely skim the ground. And the idea is, is the weight of the header rests on these deals. And then if it encounters anything, it'll ride up. Which, it only uses the gauge wheels to lift up. It actually don't carry the weight of the head while it's in operation mode. That's exactly the same as the John Deere uh, works. This crone uses this slidable piece here, which is a little bit difficult to set. The newer ones, the high-speed versions, this is like a, a sawtooth piece. It has a quick-release pin, and you move it how you want it on the uh, sawtooth. Again, the John Deere is the same. These holes are in half-inch for the gauge wheels, half-inch increments. Then you have your chain here, which does the same thing as that slidable piece. The problem with the chain is it's not as finite of an adjustment as the sawtooth piece. But it's much easier to set if you're going to change drawbar heights. Also similar, both designs have the roller baffle, which pushes the hay down and helps in feeding. The crone, the teeth in there actually do not have any oscillation to them. The bands are kind of like this. So as it goes around, it actually gives the illusion that the teeth are disappearing. Whereas on the John Deere, there's actually a cast in down here that makes them run through cams. So I'm gonna give the victory to the crone on the simplicity design by eliminating those cams. The roller wind baffle is a draw. Simple to set goes to the John Deere. Ease of work on goes to the John Deere. Width goes to the crone, but pickup height goes to the John Deere. Okay, here's the John Deere pickup that's hooked on the outside tooth. And this is the outside tooth, 76 inches there. And there's the crone, uh, 84 inches from that tooth to that tooth, which would be the same measurement as the uh, John Deere was. And there's the pickup height on the crone right there, which appears about the lowest point of the, of the uh, pickup. The bands there would be about 13 and 5 eighths inches. And there's the same measurement on the John Deere, same place for the lowest point of the bands. It's about uh, 16 inches. So it actually raises a little bit higher. And yes, you can go ahead and 
verify that both these are all the way up. Uh, the cylinders are at full stroke. So both headers are at full height. And the only uh, factor would be difference is your increments between your bolt holes are about one inch. So you could give it the benefit of a doubt of an inch either way with the better being leveled. Here's the John Deere yoke. This is the side frame pieces here, which are six inches wide by five and an eighth with one cylinder there and two right there. On the uh, crone, this is about nine and a half inches wide. Two cylinders there, two cylinders there, and also two on the other side. And the side measurement here, which would be the up and down piece, is about eight and a half inches wide. Substantially larger yoke on the uh, HDP crown. Okay, back up here is the front. Of this. this is the front of the crown. There's the uh, bull pull hitch, which both brands use. The uh, drive line on the crown is heavier, and this crown uh, has the optional hydraulic kickstart, which is an option on the uh, L341s. The hydraulic jack on the uh, Crone is uh, permanently attached, just goes up and down, whereas the uh, John Deere folds. And here's the deer where you can see the smaller drive shaft. And then that folding uh, jack there, which I really don't enjoy. On the uh, John Deere, the flywheel brake is right here. Nice and easy to get to. And on the Crone, it's back here, kind of buried into the header. Much, much more difficult to get to. While we're in the front, let's uh, go ahead and we'll look at the hydraulic lines. Uh, Crown uses steel lines and it requires, this particular barrier, barrier requires five SCVs. The John Deere requires one. There's the Crown uh, flywheel. It's a uh, huge, so is the gearbox. Uh, almost twice the size of a John Deere. I believe this flywheel is around 1,300 pounds. The John Deere is probably around six to 800 pounds. And right there is your air compressor system. Uh, John Deere does not use that. What they use is squirrel cage fans to blow out the nodders, whereas the Crone uses this system to charge up a tank and then blow out the nodders. Uh, a lot more difficult than the uh, John Deere system. Uh, Crone uses a uh, one-piece uh, fiberglass side, whereas the John Deere uses multi-piece. Um, they have a fold-up front hood fold up side hood and here's the twine boxes. The crone requires a special tool or just a pocket knife or screwdriver to uh, get in there to the twine boxes. Which would be right there. You can see how the door opens. You can get to your twine boxes. Then these on the this baler you actually have to fold them out manually and put like boards under them to hold them. The new high speeds, this is on an air cylinder, it'll prop rod out, uh, which is much improved. On the uh, John Deere baler, these front corners open up uh, nice and wide. As you can see, there's your grease gun, and that's protected under the front cover. Your computers, which this is uh, much more of a smart baler. And as you can see, the John Deere is ISO bus. The Crone has to have the high-speed 2013 model to uh, get the ISO bus option. So for these two models, I'm going to give the John Deere the better monitor. I'm going to give them the better poly design. These uh, side boxes roll out a few degrees. There's a latch underneath. They're a lot more easy. There's a big roller under here, as you can see right there. The Crone uses what they call a VFS system which is a big rotating, like a reel in here that builds a flake. And then one of the teeth of the reel grabs that flake when the flakes per, are made solid and it scoops it up, flings it up into the chamber, or as the John Deere uses a stuffer, stuffer system. The nodder systems you can access through the side ladder here on the uh, crone and you go up underneath that one lid which has a little bit better visibility. The John Deere, you enter up the real rail, rear railing, and then it's underneath that lid there, and it's all ducted air that comes out up there. Um, 
pretty good access to them if I have to work on them. The John Deere is actually a little easier to work on. They use pins instead of bolts to hold the nodders down. Uh, bill hooks or have some adjustable knife sweepers and stuff on them, whereas the Crone doesn't. So I'm going to give the victory to the Crone, or to the John Deere, I mean, on the uh, nodders. However, if you look at the nodders on John Deere versus the Crone, there's just very, very little difference. The only reason I'm giving the victory to the John Deere is on the basis there's a few more adjustments you can do to them that alleviate wear, whereas a crone you have to replace. Uh, this particular crone's got tandem axles with a little bit smaller tires. This John Deere's got the uh, largest tire option available for the single axle. You can get your brand in multiple configurations so you buy what's best for your application. For our application, the single axle with the bigger tires works the best because it provides the widest stance. There's no springs to deflect on the side hills and it makes it much easier to back up. Bail chamber on the John Deere is about 10 feet long. Bail chamber on the Crone is about 13 feet long. The chamber and the yoke, uh, the victory goes to the Crone. Gearbox and flywheel, the victory goes to the Crone. Header, I think the victory goes to John Deere. The computer, the victory goes to the John Deere. The nodder blower system, the victory goes to the John Deere. And after having had work on it, um, I'm going to say that the stuffer system, the victory goes to John Deere, and that's based on simplicity. If you're going to do over 20,000 bales a year and you have a really good supporting dealer right nearby, I think the Crone's a better baler. There's much more support for the John Deere just nationwide. We're not in a big square area here. It's, it's primarily round bales. But uh, even with that being said, we have great John Deere support and service for this baler, whereas the dealer for this one's about 150 miles away. Uh, 11 dealers within 80 miles, one dealer within 150 miles. So the John Deere uh, definitely has a support to it, and I think we'll probably have equal to or better resale value in, in this area. And like anything, there's pros to this one, and there's pros to this one. I like the John Deere better a little better after working on it than I do the Chrome, but it does have some rinky-dink hardware and things on it that are not going to be as long-lived as the Chrome. If you're a regular subscriber to this channel, you wonder why I'm doing this video, stay tuned. And I explain more uh, over the time as to those little pieces of hardware.